What's going on, YouTube? Here we are at Carbon Exhaust in Corona, California. And I got something for you later. All right. Something bigger is coming. Stay tuned. Just got back from Carbon Exhaust in Corona, California. Picked myself up. Some new exhaust tips. Thank you, Hunter, for hooking me up. Not just with the exhaust tips, but with the hat, keychain, some stickers. So this does say that it's for a Dodge Charger. However, this Durango has a tow and go package, which has the SRT exhaust. So as long as you have this bolt right here, you can take off the stock tip and bolt these ones right up. I'll be doing a video of that soon. Stay tuned. Oh, it's about in there. So you can loosen that bolt up. right off here we go one down all right here we go brand new five inch carbon exhaust tips and look at that very nice I'll set it down there we'll look at the difference here oh yeah Bigger is definitely better. There we go, nice tighten it up. There we go. All right, so there's the after shot. And there's the other side. Oh yeah, much better. Sweet. Very nice. That's one fit inside it. <laughs> right? Yeah, there we go. And it just slides right into the clamps from there. There we go. All right, let me help him out here. All right, so there's a finished look. Nice exhaust tips by Carvin. Super simple to put on. My buddy and I put them on in about, I don't know, five minutes, maybe, maybe less. My uh, battery on my impact gun died, so we just used a ratchet and it was super simple. So tell me what you guys think. Kind of get underneath here. So it just goes right in there. And then once again, that bolt right there is the only thing you gotta loosen and then tighten. So tell me what you guys think. The Durango's super dirty, but California's been getting hit by crazy weather, so I'll detail it afterwards. But anyway. one thing I wanted to mention was this how nice, nicely I should say, these are packaged. Each tip nicely wrapped in this plastic obviously that's where the stock ones will go so I won't lose them just in case and then this is all I used just a little ratchet and a 13 millimeter socket that was it super simple 
like I said, maybe five minutes to do. It was easier with an extra set of hands. That way I was holding them straight on and then uh, my buddy was uh, tightening them. So, but obviously I've seen people do it by themselves, which is just as fine. But uh, instead of like looking at it, going back, switching it back and forth, just made it a little bit easier, so. So I forgot to mention one thing. When I was installing these with my buddy, we did not have to use a like crowbar or a rubber mallet to, to bang off the uh, stock tips. So they actually just, we loosened up the bolt enough where they just slid right off. So uh, that's just something to think about. Um, I mean, obviously we had one on, on standby just in case, but we didn't need it at all. So just wanted to throw it in there.